Sunday more? Yes. <laughs> so I managed to have a conversation with the athlete coach. I've become an athlete as an adult. And, um, and the question actually, and he actually spoke for you, uh, just translated your material into that for me, but I guess I want more clarity. Um, it does take a lot of work to, to, be, uh, to shape the body. Actually, let's just go from that perspective. So I've had other conversations with you about food and nutrition. And um, d is it just because my belief is that it has to be hard or that it has to require a lot of, that it requires a lot of focus? That's why and it that's requires what a lot that, of focus. That's what that cellular memory is that he was talking about. In other words, you, because of the way you've been thinking, you have, have convinced your body of some things. Mm. But as you change your thinking, you will change the thinking of the cells of your body as well. The cells of your body are so compliant to what's going on with your thoughts. So right now, because the entire I... universe is when you believe something is hard, the universe will demonstrate the difficulty. When you believe something is easy, the universe will demonstrate the ease. It's just law of attraction in action all the time. So right now I believe I have to follow a nutrition plan. I have to follow a diet in order to keep my body the way I want it. If I could shift that belief or, or have you been inspired? Has your desire inspired you to the path of least resistance for now? Yes. Yes. That's that's the best way of saying that's right. it. The your, diet your, is the path your, of least resistance. Your desire and your alignment have inspired you to a behavior that is the path of least resistance. But the path of least resistance, hear the words in that, path of least resistance. In other words, it's like the universe, we, we're going to give you the statement of the year. The universe is always giving you everything that you will allow. Uh, the universe is giving you everything right up to the degree of resistance that you have in place so your entire work is about lowering your resistance talking yourself into ease and out of struggle talking yourself into understanding that it's just energy that is that is being traded on the waves of thought it's giving me as much as I can handle right now. It's giving you as much as you are allowing and handling it may be a way of saying it. It's giving you as much as you have brought yourself to be able to believe. It's giving me as much as I can allow in to that level. And, and if I can allow in more. And since I have the ability. And since I have the ability. To continue to morph my thoughts into greater allowance of greater ease, then. Then I can do it. Yeah. You see, this all is part of this mindset where humans in their comparison and in their determination to see themselves as unworthy or subservient in some way have come to the conclusion that there is a price to pay for everything. And we'll go along with that so, to this extent. The price to pay is the price of alignment. But the price of alignment is the absence of resistance. So the price that you're paying is ease, not struggle. And once you get that squared away in your mind, once, once you, we would like to just zap all of you with this, with this understanding that you are surrounded by this nucleus, by this soup of well-being and love and prosperity and well-being, 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 well-being. And here you stand within it with armor around you, not letting it in. Armor that you picked up in kindergarten, armor that you picked up from your mother, armor that you picked up from your friends. In other words, you're, just, you're not letting it in because you've convinced yourself that you are unworthy or that you're, you weren't good enough or that you should have done something different or that you haven't paid a big enough price for that or that you haven't, you haven't jumped through the hoops in the right way for that or that you don't have the right education, that you weren't brought under the right star or under the right, at the right time to the right person, to the right culture, in the right religion, in the whatever. In other words, it's crazy what you make up about all of this. And so here's this soup of well-being that is surrounding you that would penetrate every fiber of your beingness to give you anything that you want and to the degree that you are allowing it you are letting it in that's why jesus said it is the meek who will inherit the earth that meekness meaning that non-resisted that allowing that free feeling that light-hearted not the angry not the determined 
not not the challenged, not the disciplined, the meek, the allowing, the understanding, the blessed, the accepting of the well-being, you see. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's so exciting to be in your energy. It just reminds me that all is well, and I forgot that until five minutes before I got here. <sighs> um, my question is, um, I love your work, and I, I try and remember to practice it. And um, I'm in a relationship, and we can go south with each other so quickly. Have we made our explanation too complicated? <laughs> I've been studying your work since 1990. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to remember your words. And so we want to give them to you in an easier to remember format. <laughs> Get happy in any way you can. <laughs> If you have to run away from home, do it. If you have to go to the beach every day, do it. Do anything that you can do to get happy. In most cases, it does not involve action because in most cases, if you take action in your effort to get happy, some boom drops on you, like you get fired and then you don't have any money or something like that. Get happy in your mind. Find a way to make such peace with where you are that you allow your gap to close. That's what getting happy is. It's making peace with where you are, because if you make peace with where you are, this vortex that is spinning will suck you right into the perfection of all of it. Get happy. Simplistic, we know, that's why we write so many books. <laughs> but then all of those books, you say, oh, there's so much to learn. Look at all of these pages. There's so much to learn. All of these emotions that I didn't even know that I had. And all of these laws, all of these laws. Look at all of these laws, universal laws. What in the hell is vibration anyway? I don't understand. Ask and it is given. That's bullshit. I've been, I've been asking. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I've been asking, where's my stuff? So we give you all of the words and you say way too many words and we say, get happy and you say, oh, too simplistic. <laughs> and we say, really, really, all you got to do is just find a reason to feel good. In other words, that conversation we just had, that was better than the whole seminar put together. <laughs> You laughed, you know it's true. There isn't anything that is written here that you didn't know the day you were born. We're just reminding you of it. You can tell every time you enter into a conversation that you know isn't going well for you, you can feel it. You can feel when you're defeating yourself. You can feel when you're bolstering yourself. You can feel when you're uplifting another. You can feel when you're deflating another. You know this stuff. You know this stuff. You have just, over time, lowered your standards about how you're willing to feel. You've gotten used to being ornery. You're not deliberate about feeling good because you don't understand the power of feeling good, you see. We're not talking about laughing hee-haw off the wall. We're talking about feeling interested in things. We're talking about waking up and being glad that you're awake and glad that you're alive and looking out across the landscape and wanting to see what's there. We're talking about seeing things and feeling interested in them. We're talking about having a conversation with someone across the table and devouring every word and loving the conversation that you're having. We're talking about looking into the eyes of children and babies and animals and lovers and feeling the fullness of who you are. We're talking about getting tuned in, tapped in, turned on and seeing the world through the eyes of your total self rather than this fragmented one you see just chill out <laughs> if people say how are you say irrelevant <laughs> how I are and have been is irrelevant it's where I'm going that I want to talk about and they'll say well, where <laughs> are you going and you say how much time do you have 
because you've got this escrow that you're eager to talk about and if you talk about where you're going and the people that you've been used to talking to aren't eager about where you're going or don't get it they'll stop asking you they'll stop coming to you and asking for information but if you talk about where you are or how it's been so where are you going How do I want and not and kind of leave it alone so that whatever I want comes to me by feeling worthy <laughs> okay because when you want it and expect it then it must be but you said the key words leave it alone because when you it's one of the things that is a little bit amusing you you probably won't think so but it really is <laughs> is that when you keep asking the question or when you keep asking for a solution then you're standing in the place of the absence of the answer or the absence of the solution right. so if you keep that alive in your vibration where is it why doesn't it come I really want then the answer or the solution can't come because they're different frequencies so leaving it alone really is the key in other words you've already asked for it now get on to other things and allow it to come don't just don't keep the absence of it alive in your vibration so how do you set it aside and, and, and let it in to allow it in without thinking? How do you stop thinking about it? Well, if it's something that you really have a hard time setting aside and things you really want are often like that, then it you is. have to find a way of just being general about it. Speaking about it in the most general sense will soften your resistance about it. Want to talk about the details? It's... It, it's getting better and better everything in, in, in general and I do try to keep it general because that I did learn that from you um, I don't well, really you, have anything you either specific. have to change the subject but the thing is everything we were talking earlier about the momentum so if you have a need that hasn't been filled and the need is really raw to you it's something that you really 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 want but you want it you're yearning for it you want it from that place of not having it you're slowing it down because that vibration is so active it's keeping really it's is. keeping you from being a vibrational match to your vortex and it's it's preventing it's like your vortex is here and you're here and it can't flow in you've got to do something to raise that vibration so distraction is a good thing getting busy on other things find something to do that occupies your mind make lists of the things that are working make lists of the things that were one time like that that then broke loose and started to work mm. in other words you just try to talk yourself talk yourself in to believing that it's coming going general really is a good tool things do work out for me and there have been things that I've wanted that weren't there and then came later um, in time it will come I don't need to I don't need to worry about this it's just a matter of of allowing I'm, I'm really doing a good job that kind of thing and then distraction through meditation is another really good tool we think that meditation is not utilized by humans in the productive effective way that it could be if you would start your day by quieting your mind you would align immediately if you got up and before you remembered what was bothering you from yesterday and before you checked your email and found out what's going to bother you today <laughs> If you would just get up and from that clear space, you would meditate and raise your vibration to the frequency of who you are. Your magic would begin earlier, early in the day. The momentum would begin to flow to you early in the day. And that would distract you. Those positive thoughts and conversations and interactions with others that your, your day would be full of that. 